Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. This video is part 2 of the fluid and electrolyte imbalance session. And we will be discussing about hypervolumia in detail. Well, before beginning the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Let's get into the session. Hypervolumia or fluid volume excess. Hypervolumia refers to increase in blood volume. It is also called fluid overload, a condition in which the liquid portion of the blood, that is plasma, is too high. Hypervolemia is an excess of isotonic fluid, that is water and sodium, in the extracellular compartment. Causes may include diminished homeostatic mechanism resulting from heart failure, cirrhosis, hepatitis, kidney failure, nephrotic syndrome, high salt diet. Clinical manifestations of cardiovascular system include tachycardia, hypertension, distended neck and hand veins, increased central venous pressure, dysrhythmias. Respiratory symptoms may include increased rate and depth of respiration, that is shallow respiration, dyspnea, crackle zone, auscultation. Neuromuscular symptoms include altered level of consciousness, headache, visual disturbances, skeletal muscle weakness, paresthesias. Renal symptoms include increased urine output if kidneys can compensate and decreased urine output if kidney damage is the cause. Integumentary symptoms include pitting edema, pale, cool skin. Gastrointestinal symptoms are increased motility, diarrhea, liver enlargement, ascites, increased body weight. Laboratory findings of hypervolumia reveals decrease in serum osmolality, hematocrit, blood urea nitrogen level, serum sodium, and urine specific gravity. Management of hypervolumia depends on identifying and treating the underlying cause of hypervolumia. Some of the management measures include restriction of sodium and fluid intake. Treatment for hypervolemia includes restriction of sodium and fluid intake and administration of medications to prevent such complications like heart failure and pulmonary edema. Administration of medications Oxygen administration If there is renal failure, hemodialysis or continuous renal replacement therapy is done. Medical management includes administration of diuretics like thiazide diuretics and loop diuretics. The choice of diuretic is based on the severity of hypervolemic state, the degree of impairment of renal function. Other drugs include digoxin if there is heart failure, morphine and nitroglycerin if there is pulmonary edema, potassium supplements in case of hypokalemia. When the kidneys are not working properly, diuretics may not be enough to rid the body of extra fluid. In such cases, patient may require hemodialysis or CRRT. Untreated hypervolemia can cause severe complications which include pericarditis or swelling of the heart tissues. Pericarditis refers to the inflammation of the pericardium, two thin layers of a sac-like tissue that surround the heart hold it in place and help it work. Other complications include heart failure, delayed wound healing, tissue breakdown, decreased bowel function. The nursing management of hypervolemia includes monitoring hemodynamic status, body weight, intake output chart, hourly, mental status, electrolyte level, watch for distended veins in the hands or neck, ABG results monitoring for changes in acid base balance, grading edema, abdominal girth to rule out ascites. Other nursing management measures include provide oral hygiene and skin care, use infusion pump for administering medication to prevent fluid overload, assess for bounding peripheral pulses and S3 signs of fluid overload. Elevate edematous extremities and handle with care. Use anti-embolic stockings or bandages as ordered. The main nursing diagnosis of hypervolemia is fluid volume excess related to decreased cardiac output, liver disease, excessive sodium intake, 
renal insufficiency. Here you go with fluid electrolyte imbalances, explaining hypervolemia in detail and its management. If you find this video useful, please like it and please subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.